Hi, and welcome to this presentation of how to use the pen tester automation tool for information gathering. This application will automate multiple commands at the same time without you typing each one of them. Let's take a normal scenario. Assume you want to scan for DNS information. In Kali, you would go and execute multiple commands to achieve the results. And you would use your web browser as well to look for leaked information on the web, right? Now, to download the application, you need to go to github.com slash gaskawaja slash pat. Simply click on the clone or download button to download the application. If you scroll down on this page, you will see some helpful tips of how to use it in each category. Information gathering, scanning, vulnerability assessment, and web application scan. Also, you have a link to a full presentation that I did on Pluralsight that shows you how I built this application from scratch. And on top of this, you have my email address in case you have questions regarding this application. Before I show you how this application works in the terminal window, I want you to see the config files first. For the time being, I will go to my downloads folder to unzip the module. To understand what I mean, I will open the DNS configuration file under the reconnaissance folder. Now imagine that you can execute all these comments in a single and simple one. Awesome, right? Everything is configured in this file, so the application would know what to execute in Kali Linux. This is the power of automation. And you can add your own comments as well if you want to. As you can see, in this file I used DNS recon and fierce to accomplish the DNS test. I'm not done yet. Also, you can add your own search engine criteria in the website's configuration file. Are you asking yourself, does this mean I don't need to search manually using the browser? Yes, you're right. You don't need to do that with pat.py. Everything is automated for you, even the Google Docs queries. Here's a sample file that automates some Google Docs and other search engine criteria as well. Here's the trick for this application. All the comments that you want to automate in the terminal window will contain the underscore comments.txt in the file name. And all the automation that you want in the web browser, you use the underscore websites.txt for the file name. Now let's see how it works in the terminal window. First, browse to the application folder. And this is where pat.py is saved. The first command that I encourage you to start with is the help command to list all the functionalities and modules included in this application. For the information gathering scan, I will use the DNS to scan for information about my client domain. Also, I can use the email scan to search for email addresses linked to my client's company. Next, I can use the Whois module to scan the Whois database for more information. Also, I can use the files module to list 
all the leaked files on the internet for my client. The next information gathering that I can use as well is a social media module and it will allow you to collect information about your client's social media activities. Finally, you have the web search module which will execute some random research on the internet in order to get information about your client. It's time to see this application up and running. In your terminal window, type Python followed by the name of the application, which is pat.py, then the company domain name. In this case, I will use my own blog for this test because I don't want to offend any company's website live on YouTube. Next, I will include the DNS switch. Finally, press enter. This is a long process and it's going to take a while to execute all these comments. One more time, if you want to learn how this application works in more details, then I encourage you to go and watch the plural site video. And the link is on the GitHub webpage that I showed you earlier. All right, the crazy ninja pat.py has finished executing the DNS module. And here you can see the automation of the browser. I will minimize it because I want to show you the terminal window first. So let's check out the results together. First on the top, I have the results for DNS Recon. The second one is DNS Recon as well. If you recall from the configuration file, we had three comments, two for DNS Recon, and in the last one, I'm using Fierce. Let's check it out. Indeed, here you can see the fierce results and it shows two important DNS records, the FTP and the www.ethicalhackingblog.com. I love this tool. It always gives me the best results. And here at the bottom, we have the report saved under the reports folder. Let's check it out. Go where you unzipped the application and open the reports folder, then the company name. After that, the reconnaissance folder, since it's an information gathering test, and let's open the report text file. As you can see, you have all the three results saved for you so you would be able to create your report later. I haven't showed you the browser automation results yet. Here you can see that I used the DNS staff website to display the DNS information that I need about my blog website. In future videos, I will show you how to use this application for scanning the network of your client.